Question is, shall the bill pass finally? On that question, the speaker recognizes the gentleman from Allegheny County, Mr. Sacoon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of this bill. I have two points. I'll be brief. The first one is, I've heard several times during this week that we have had only four cases of voter fraud prosecuted in Pennsylvania. Therefore, voter fraud doesn't, basically doesn't exist. I think this logic is, is shallow and must be challenged. In the last election, our poll watchers documented scores of violations of various kinds of voter fraud and submitted them to the local authorities. They've yet to be acted upon. Now, I've heard of similar instances submitted across the state. So what I think is, uh, the shame is that we just don't seem to be prosecuting voter fraud. And that's not a reason to say there is no voter fraud. So we need to end the assertion that voter fraud is non-existent. We all know it happens. Some of us have been the victims of it. My second point, Mr. Speaker, is that the beauty of our system, I think, is well captured in the, in the timeless saying of, and they created a government whereby all men were pledged to defend the rights of each man, and each man pledged to defend the rights of all men. That's what we accomplish when we ask citizens to show an ID to vote. We are defending the vote of every man, ensuring that only one eligible person votes, and that vote is not diluted by fraud. That's the essence of our representative government and the foundation of good citizenship. This bill protects only one facet of voter fraud, I admit that, but it is a critical first step. We must start here to strengthen our system to ensure the rights of all men. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.